here at the Baton Rouge Zoo in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They're in a reinvention phase one of the zoo, but we're gonna see what we see today. It's a beautiful day, 50 degrees here in South Louisiana. And there's Papa Sammy. Hey, Papa Sammy. Hey, man. The realm of the tiger. Oh, look at the koi fish. Yeah, he saw them. So they're just a little bit chilly, so they're just cuddling? Yeah. That cool. one's just chilling. Huh? <laughs> it's a nice cage they have. Big old cage with platform. they normally up there. Yeah, maybe when we come around, they'll be up there. How did we miss that? <laughs> you wouldn't last very long in the jungle, would you, boo? <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's put the kids in there. Y'all, if this thing the fell in... That tiger be here in a scat second. I got, I got an idea, fellas. <laughs> Birds of Asia. Mom? All right, let's go. Yeah. Got it? Birdies are everywhere. What kind of birds are we going to see up in here, fellas? Oh, did y'all know that? 17% of all bird species in the world can be found in Indonesia. Yeah, and there's a white, wow. white pigeon. Look, oh, look, 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 look at them. What are they doing? Look at that one. He's cursing. He's cursing. <laughs> the birds ever work. It might be because we're inside the bird cage. It's pretty in here. Look at you over here. Look at you over there. Hmm. I think you just don't see them, Gigi, because they're up there, like that one, right up there. Yep, they're sitting up there in the They're sitting there looking at it. Wow. Very much, Toys. Goodness. An Indian rhinoceros. Where's he going? He's smelling us, I think. Look at him. Hi. Hi, little fella. Huh. In the early 1900s, there were fewer than 100 of these animals left. And they said strict protection in India and Nepal, along with breeding programs and zoos, have brought them back from the brink of extinction. So they're threatened, if you look at the sign versus extinct or endangered. 3,300 to 6,500 pounds. Wow. Why would they even be there if they, they were extinct they might in the world? If they were extinct, there wouldn't be one here for us to look at. Yeah, Why is there a big, big goat right there? Looks like he's got armor on Yeah, he does. A lot of power right there. There you go, walking look around. And little and baby. Little here come the babies over here in the grass wandering around. Squirrel. Where's the squirrel? I saw a fat squirrel. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Green winged macaw. They only lay two to three eggs each time they nest. And usually only one of the hatchlings will survive into child uh, adulthood. But they do live to be forty to fifty years old. Hi there. Hey, y'all, was good? Talk to you. It was one of them. Look at That's a macaw, Papa. We're going right over to the otters next, but right now we're looking at these bald eagles. When they banned the pesticide DDT, 
the what number of bald e eagle pairs, nesting pairs, went up from seven in 1972 to over 350 in Louisiana today. So that was good news for the bald eagles. All righty, we're going up into a Chavalaya Basin, which is what they named the Baton Rouge Zoo, named this area. The otter pond is in here in the little aquarium de Louisiana. Watch for poison ivy, yay. Land and Water Conservation Fund. Like this pathway with all the lights. Very nice. Here we are in the bobcat cage. Right over there cleaning each other. The bobcats in the south are about half the size of the ones in the far north. They could be active any time of day, but they most often hunt at dawn and dusk. And they like to go around areas that have dense cover for safety and camouflage reasons, of course. Here's information on the bobcat. They're just getting them some sun. It's nice, brisk air. Is it a willow, asparagus fern, or a pineapple up in here today? Let's look. A pineapple. I wonder if it's a Maui gold. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, you ought to be doing that one. <laughs> Come on. Hi there. Hi. It looks fake. No, it's not. Yeah, he's showing up. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. No, you don't want to pet him. You take your finger off. You know what it is? Isn't it gorgeous? It is. He had old cane patches. Louisiana at one time was almost 100% cane. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go into the aquarium. Ooh, it's dark. <laughs> You're rushing. Oh, look at you guys. Oh, look at that catfish. He's white. Good. How are you? No fishing with your hands. Huh. Halloween was yesterday, so they still have. Hi there. Is that crawfish? Yeah, those are baby crawfish. Yeah. I've never seen them that little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I only see them big enough to eat. That's tiny. Look, yeah. that's my hand. Those are tiny. Uh, these shiners are pretty fast. There's some larger crawfish, red swamp crawfish. They're still not huge, but they're in there. And we have, guess who lives here? Largemouth bass. That's what that is, large mouth bass? Large mouth bass. Cool beans. We have a stingray in here. He's kind of chilling. And then we have some catfish. Let's see if they come by. There they are, under the water. Oh, Lord, look at his lips. Is he okay? Papa, you can... This is a razorbacked musk turtle. Just step on your friend there, boo. <laughs> Just step on him. There you go. No, I already saw that. Look, come on. Alligator snapping turtle. Oh, look at that neck. Oh, his mouth's wide open. Y'all saw that? Oh. These things are my favorite. This is an eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Where's this rattle? Let me see that. Excuse me. Oh, this one's moving. Yeah. What is he? He's a mint pygmy rattlesnake. Oh. It's like it's all on your finger. Look at that one, Papa. Yeah, I had one like that in my backyard. I can't find it. So, Timber rattlesnake. 
Here's a box turtle. <laughs> they just got their backs to us today. I think they're on strike. Did you see the snake in this one? Hi there. Hi. Well, look what's up in the trees. Hey there. Y'all chilling? You need a haircut. <laughs> Everybody's grooming everybody up in the zoo. <laughs> We're here at Flamingo Cove at the Baton Rouge Zoo. Did you know that a flamingo can stand on one leg for more than four hours at a time without doing... Look at that. As I talk about it, there they are doing it. Scientists do not know why they do this, except possibly to maintain body temperature. Look how beautiful. What, what is that one doing? <laughs> Hmm. Hello, pretty fella. Hey. Are you ready? Cold, I'll be moving real slow and sluggish. You have to just move it I see some minnows. A pygmy hippo, little known is about the behavior, little is known about the behavior of this shy creature. It spends its nights foraging on the forest floor, but can stand its hind legs to reach the trees. That's a pygmy hippo. Yeah. Oh, he left, he's leaving. Uh-oh. Y'all better hurry up. Oh, there they are. Look at him. Oh, look at him. And look at the monkeys up here. Mm, Are those, you scared of them? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Turn his back on. Papa Sammy getting some footage for his channel. It's one of the largest vultures from Africa. Wingspan can be up to nine foot. How is that deadly? He's got claws and beaks and he will attack. He's got what? He didn't feet and long claws. Oh. Uh, this thing here. He was right. It's pretty defensive. It can actually kick forward with both feet at the same time. Stay away from those when you're in the rainforest or the swamps. Show me a picture of a raven. How come it ain't working? Probably, probably saving away back here. If I had to guess. Playground over there. Hey, Siri. And a bunch of birds here. And you can hear the progress in the back because they're in phase one of reimagining our Baton Rouge Zoo. But in the meantime, there's still beautiful animals to come see. Let's take a peek. Halloween was last night. Oops, excuse me. How's it going? Oh, feeding the animals. Look at you, lovely. Green Taraka from West Africa. You're beautiful. Hey, Mom. I saw a video. This must be where the giraffes are going to be. I was watching a video on this this morning, put out by the zoo. Yep, this is it. This is where the giraffes are gonna be. This is going to be spectacular. We were here the actual weekend this opened many years ago. Mama, remember coming here when they opened this that weekend? And Micah. Micah told the newspaper lady, she said, pigs don't bite, huh? She was going to pet the pigs, remember? Yeah. Pigs don't bite, huh? And th that was the ending of that lady's article. Yeah. She put that in there. Hello, Mr. Goat. 
soaking it, soaking up that good stuff. Hello, Mr. Prairie Dog. Hi, fella. Oh, I, it's a pygmy hippo. Look at it. Okay. I got you. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. Come on. there. No, Wait, read it again, Mom. See you later. Thanks for visiting the Bat Moon Zoo. With your free pumpkins. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's so pretty. But this is gorgeous at night. Mama, what do they have? They have zoo lights coming up. Zoo, zoo lights are coming up. Yeah, November something to December. Oh, how beautiful. Sir? 